Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about subquery in Oracle database. So about the subquery, so I already written this all point. So the definition is if we write select a statement in where clause. So select a statement in where clause here. Yeah. Uh, that we call it a subqueries or inner queries. So select a statement in where clause. So we can say that that is a subquery. So at here there are four types of subquery. So in this video I will discuss about these three. Now let's see one by one. The first is single row subquery. So single row subquery. So it return zero or one row. So at here see where clause. Inside where clause, or uh, there is a, a query, so that called subquery. So this is the subquery. So at here I am using the table employee. So this is the record here inside the employees. So first I am going to copy or uh, this or uh, record. So at here there is no any copy option. So let's select here all and here after copy and paste it here. Control C, Control V. Now here after next is here inside. So in, inside, I uh, select uh, Saturday. So if you execute this query, so it will select the Saturday column records from the invoice table. So this is the all Saturday column. Now here after I have given the condition on where employee ID equal to one not seven. So see right here, uh, seventeen thousand. It's uh, displaying. Now here after if you want to check employee ID, so just include employee underscore ID. Now execute brand. So see at here employee ID hundred one. Or uh, is the Saturday seventeen thousand? So at here hundred one. The Saturday is seventeen thousand. Let's paste that one. Now here after next is or uh, if you execute this all query so see at here too many values okay I have to remove this part now execute this query again so it's a displaying only single row so add here it's a displaying single row so employee ID hundred and here the side is twenty four thousand because at here if you ask if you uh, about this query so this query this returns the value of this one and see in this uh, all tables 24,000 is the greater than so at here the salary so here this value is returning 17,000 and this value is returning 24,000 so 24,000 is greater than 17,000 so this condition is true so that here it's returning the output here this Employee ID 100 and 24,000. So this row it's a returning. So add here about to single row subquery. So, so it return no zero or one row. So add here it's a returning zero row. So this is the things. Now here after the multi row subquery. So it return one or more rows. So we should include uh, with any kind of operator like any, all, in, not in, between operator. So add here, if you execute this query, so this will return add here, or 70,000 sadly. Now here after, if you execute this all, so add here, uh, I'm using any. So about the any operator, so any operator to compare a value with any value in the list. And we should use add here with any, add here, any, any greater than, less than, not equal, equal. So if I'm going to execute this query, so see add here, this is the returning one value. So according to multi row of query, so it return one or more rows. So it's a returning one row. Because add here, this value is now returning 17,000. And only 24,000 has the greater than standard 17,000. So this is the things. Now here after you can use with multi or row subquery uh, in clause, not clause, where clause, in clause, not in, between. So at here I'm using this here. So select a start from, select salary from the employees and salary between 5,000 and 10 to 10,000. 
So I have 9000, 6000, 9000, 8000. So it's returning the salary uh, between 5000 and 10000. Now here after if you execute, so the salary. So this will compare 24000 is the greater than 9000 like this. Here 24000, 17000 is the greater than 6000. The condition is true so that here it's displaying. So see I have 24000 is the greater than here this salary. 70,000 is the greater than 70,000 and here 40,000 is the greater than comes under this standard so that here it's displaying this all values. Now the next point is let's execute this query here. So this is the returning all the now here after Saturday now here after let's execute inner query. So in your query, you get the values only 9000, 6000, 9000, 8 to 77. Now here, uh, this value in only. The salary comes, uh, the salary is between 5 to 10,000. This value only in. So see, see at here, uh, if you check at here, 9000, it uh, comes under 5 to 5, 5k, uh, 5000 to 10,000. At here, 9000, 9000, here, 6000. This record, it's on display. It's a 10,000. So salary won't be greater than 10,000 or not be less than 5,000. It's a display. Now, if you give add a not in, salary between 5 to 10,000 this will not display here. So the salary should be less than 5,000 or greater than 10,000. So see at here, 10,000, 24,000 is the greater, 4,800 is the less to 5,000. So this is the example of multi or sub query. So at here I'm using so this is the display multiple row so that we can say this is the multi row sub query. Now here after the third is multiple column sub queries. So it returns multiple columns. So suppose if you uh, come include at here there is another column like employee underscore id. So definitely let's see what happened. So if you combine, so definitely missing expression like this kind of error comes. So let's remove the comma. Now execute one more time. So let's see what the different it's coming. So see at here, it's displaying 24,000 here and here employee. So in here, let's give comma to separate the columns. Now execute one more time. So see at here too many values kind of error I'm getting. So that means so simply you cannot include the, uh, more than one columns inside the sub query. So for this we have to write this kind of query. So if you write this kind of query, so this is called multi column sub query. Because at here department ID is the one column and avg underscore salary is the one column. So in place of this it's a alias sal1. So by writing this query, so we can calculate salary greater than average salary. So if you now execute this query, so let's see what output it's coming. So at here, this is a displaying salary or uh, greater than average. Uh, so this is a displaying average salary. Okay. Now here after let's paste that average salary here. Now uh, let's compare. So at here 19. So 19. 19 is the average salary is 1999. So at here about to this query. So employees is the employees uh, table. So alias is even. Now here after selected or de uh, department ID average salary. So see at here sal is the alias of this value is average salary. Now here after from employees table. So in place of this the next alias is eq. Now here after I am using very close. So even dot department ID. So even so first two department ID is the 90 and here in 90 the average salary is the 19,000. So 90 is equal to 90,000 first that will check one by one. So 90 greater than 100 so it's not equal 30. So when that font 90 equal to 90. So the first condition is true here. Now here after and operator e dot salary. So e dot salary means this value is at here 19, 24,000 is the salary. So this will check uh, uh, 24,000 greater than 90, 9, 90, triple 3. So this condition is true. So that will display this row. 
Now here after that check 17,000 get then this 19,000. So this is not true. 17,000 it's a get then 90,000 it's a not true. So that it will not display. So it will display only department to 90, 24,000. So 90 department 24,000 it's a display. Now here after the average salary is the department to 60. So 5760. So 5760 here. So 9000 is the greater than 5760, it's true. Now 6000 is greater than 5760, it's true. 4800 greater than 5760. So this is not true. Only these two columns values are satisfied. So that here, if you execute this query, so see at here, in 60, there's two row, it's a display 9000 and 6000. So with the help of multi column sub queries, so we can find Saturday greater than average Saturday according to department wise. So this time add here I'm using our department ID and I created one new column. So see add here if you execute this inner query. So inner query we can say sub query. So it's, if you execute this sub query. So add here there is a two columns. But previous, previously I used add here there is a one column. Saturday. So if I include add here extra column. So I'm getting the error analysis too many values. So when oh, a query has when sub query has more than one column, so it can it's called multi column sub queries. So it return multiple columns. So this is the things and this is the about to query. And here I'm using and operator. So if this condition is this condition is true and this condition is true, then that will uh, over all true. Then so if all true, then that will print the or that will display the output expected output. So these are things here. So next time uh, here, if you want to check like uh, uh, 60 over, now here let's check 100. So 100, the 100 here. So first uh, that check and here department ID. So this is the 100 and here E2 dot uh, department ID. So this is the part of E2 here. So E2 part. So at here that check 100. So it's a match with 100. At first time that match. So at a hundred uh, ID is the equal. Now here after the next that check and operator here and operator e dot Saturday. So hundred of uh, hundred the Saturday is twelve thousand and here this is the average Saturday eight six zero. So this value is true. So that here this row that will display. Now here after nine thousand hundred this is the also true. So this row that display two row display. And here, uh, 82,000 greater than uh, 8600, so it's uh, not true, so uh, that will not display. So only uh, this two row display here for department 100. So let's uh, check that. So department 100, so 12,000, and here next is 9,000. So this two row only display here. So this is the what multi column sub key and yeah, this is the what any operator so with any operator we can use this kind of operator greater than equal less than equal here yeah. and we can use add here yeah, in not in operator for multi row sub -query. and in next video I will discuss about correlated sub -query. So if I make uh, in this video, it's uh, about correlated sub -query, so it will take more time. So I'm going to display, so I'm going to make one new video for related to correlated sub -query. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.